Personally, I know that I use my debit and my credit card quite regularly. I'd even say I use them about once a week. I also do most of my shopping online because I just don't like the hassle of going to a normal store. I assume many of you are probably the same, but have you ever stopped to wonder where all this came from? Well, all of these online transactions are made possible by my great-great-uncle Vernon Schatz, who created the electronic funds transfer, otherwise known as the EFT. The EFT was a major turning point for banking and retail. However, few of us seem to notice it now as it has become so integrated in our everyday lives. In this speech, I'll give you a short overview of Vernon's life, talk about his creation of EFT and smart cards, and bring you from then to now. So first, here's a little bit of Vernon's background. So here's a picture of what he looked like. And after speaking with his family and my family, I actually discovered a lot about him. So Vernon was a farm boy who grew up here in Monticello, Iowa. He had seven siblings, one of which was my great-grandfather, Wilfred. Um, and because Wilfred was willing to stay home and take care of the farm, Vernon was allowed to go off to a university. He ended up getting a bachelor's in science and engineering from Iowa State University in 1949 and a master's in business administration from Xavier University in 1959. His career was focused on computers and information systems, which was pretty ironic because when he was first introduced to them, when he worked at IBM, um, he decided that they weren't worth the bother and they were just a passing fad. Um, in 1969, he moved to Jewel Supermarkets and became the vice president of information systems there. And this is where he started to pioneer his development of the EFT. So now that you know a little bit of Vernon's background, let's talk about his actual um, inventions. So the EFT is used to transfer money online. It sends messages about your monetary transfer through telephone lines, and which is all processed at one central unit. According to Lin Linda Bessie, a banker who I was able to interview, the EFT is a way for people to electronically transfer money from their accounts to where they want their payments to be made. The reason that Vernon created the EFT was because before the 1970s, he believed that banks were being unfair to their customers. So before the 1970s, banks used a concept called float, which, as Vernon's daughter explained to me, is a way for banks to make money off of their customers' money by making overnight loans to other banks. These loans are called Fed funds. And the more money they had from their customers, the more Fed funds they could lend out and the more money they could make. However, this kept the customers from having immediate access to their own money. Vernon saw this as unfair and unacceptable, so he decided to fix it. Sadly, the EFT was not accepted by everyone when it first came out. The older generation was very skeptical of trusting a machine with their money, and it took a long time for it to really gain any traction. Banks actually lost money when they first switched over because no one was trusting them. Um, but with time, this, these ideas changed as people saw how easily and quickly they could transfer their money by using the EFT. Along with all of this, Vernon also developed the fundamentals for the smart card. A smart card contains customer identification and pre-authorized financial transaction information with an integrated circuit to store and manipulate data. It was designed to facilitate secure purchases without going online to a authorized point of sale for each transaction. Basically, it was the early form of a debit card, where you had to already have funds in your bank in order to use them. Um, so now that you know about Vernon's life and his creations, why are they still relevant today? Well, many modern day activities came from Vernon's creations, such as paying with a debit or a credit card. Anytime you use those, um, they both came, were developed from the smart card and all of the transactions happen online. There's no actual money being moved back and forth. There's also online banking. I assume the majority of us have an online bank account. So anytime that we pay a bill, transfer money, make a withdrawal, make a deposit, it's all using the creation of the EFT. There's also online shopping. Anytime you buy something online, which is usually with a credit card, you're also using the EFT. So now you know a little bit of history behind whenever you do online shopping, online banking, or use a debit or credit card. Vernon is always present in our everyday lives. According to Sergio Sucarici, 
who worked with Vernon while he was developing the EFT and I had the pleasure to interview, Vernon knew that this creation would go far. He was a visionary and he could see just how much this creation would help people and just how far reaching it would be. Can you imagine your life without a credit or a debit card? I definitely can't. Vernon changed society and I would say he changed it for the better. We are now well on our way to a cashless and checklist society where paper transactions will become obsolete.